Hi, Greg Hughes here from 90 Second Website Builder. One of the most convenient features in this software is a set or library of blocks. And blocks are something that are stored down here in this palette in this bottom corner. I'm going to move the palette out into the middle of the page here so we can talk about blocks. A block is basically just a saved, pre-designed set of objects that you can place on your website, on your page. Now I have another video that explains how to use blocks and even how to save blocks and create your own. But in this video, I want to show you how to get some additional blocks because 90 Second Website Builder comes with a certain number of blocks already built in, but you can get more. When you look at the blocks palette, you can see that each block section is categorized and in alphabetical order. So these are some blocks that are built with the articles object. If I scroll down through my blocks palette, you can see I've also got some that use the carousel. So they're stored in the carousel category. And as we scroll down, you see I have other categories. These are all blocks that make nice dividers. Here are some pre-built blocks that display features. These are blocks that make good footers. And here's one I made myself and saved as a block because you can save your own blocks for use later. That's the whole purpose of them. And here's some blocks that are made with forms and so on. I've got quite a list here because I've downloaded and installed a number of blocks. And you may wonder why your block section doesn't have as many blocks in it as I do. Well, I'm going to show you how to change that right now. When you log into the 90 Second Website Builder members area, there's actually a set or collection of additional blocks you can add to your software. When you're logged into the members area, you'll see a page that you'll scroll down and you can see that it contains some links to blocks. The blocks are zipped up in folders and are categorized. So if you click on this link, you'll download a set of blocks made for articles, carousels, features, etc. So all you need to do is click on the link and download the zip folder. Here you can see I've downloaded all of them. And of course, as you probably know, when you download a zip folder, you can unzip it or extract it by simply right clicking on it and going to extract all. Now I've already done that with all of the zip folders. So I have these folders on my computer. This is just something on my desktop. So all of these folders, unzip folders, contains blocks that I can install into my 90 second website builder software. And I'm going to show you how to do that. First, let's take a look at what they look like. If I double click on the articles blocks, you'll notice that every block comes with two files. Article three columns is a single block, but it has both a JPEG image and a WBL file. The WBL file is the block itself. That's the saved set of website objects. And the JPEG file is the thumbnail or the image you'll see when you look at it in the software. So when we go back to 90 Second Website Builder and we look at the blocks palette. These are just thumbnails or JPEGs. And so they, those need to be stored somewhere. So installing a new block is pretty easy. You can put it into your 90 Second Website Builder system folder. Now, let's go take a look and see where that is. On your computer system, 90 Second Website Builder files should be stored inside your My Documents folder. Inside your My Documents or just Documents folder is the folder called 90 Second Website Builder. Inside that folder is one called System. And inside that folder is one called Blocks. Inside the Blocks folder, you'll see all these other folders these are what determine the categories that show up in the software. So remember, as we were scrolling through the blocks categories, you, we saw them in alphabetical order as they are here. We saw the articles, the carousel, the dividers. This is what determines what those categories are called. And by the way, you can change the names of these if you want to. So if we look inside the articles folder or category, these are the blocks that show in my version of 90 Second Website Builder. This is what I've installed. And this is how easy it is to install them. Simply open up the folder that you want to install the new blocks in, open up the downloaded folder and drag them in. For example, let's look at my photo gallery. In my collection of blocks, I've got one called Vimeo and I've got one called the YouTube gallery. But I noticed that when I downloaded the new ones, there was one I didn't have. I didn't have the one just called gallery. I have these two, but I don't have this one. So if I want to install the gallery block into my software, I'll just need to drag it into this folder. And remember, I need the, the JPEG or thumbnail, and I also need the WBL file. I just simply drag it into place. There. 
and now I've got a new block in my software, and it will appear under the Photo Gallery collection. Also, you may find when you download the new blocks that there are some categories that you don't actually have yet. For example, here's a set of blocks called rollovers. There's several of them inside this rollovers folder, and yet I don't have a rollovers category. So I can either make a new folder called rollovers and put them in that, or I can just drag the whole folder over. So I'm going to do that. I'll drag this folder into my system, and there. Now I have a new category called rollovers that contains these blocks. So it's really simple. Just download the zip folder, unzip it, or extract all, and then when you open up the extracted folder, just drag it into the right spot in your system folder under blocks. And again, the folders represent the category names. It's that easy. Blocks make working with 90 Second Website Builder really, really simple and fast. And remember, you can create your own blocks and save them. Watch my blocks video for more details on how to work with blocks in 90 Second Website Builder.